Hey guys, uh, Colton here from uh, FL Team 3552, Team Legacy in uh, Mason, Arizona here. And uh, as you can see, uh, I've made a new mission here. Uh, actually, it's been done for a while. just haven't gone around to, you know, making a video for it. But uh, as you can see, two more new attachments. Uh, I'm going to play the mission here for you first, and I'm going to explain what happened. I'm going to explain well, our strategy with this uh, attachment and program. So here we go. Okay, yeah, there's the mission for you guys. Uh, for this mission right here, I'm going to explain uh, first these attachments right here. So uh, as you can see, this one right here, after we backed up on the wall, which helps uh, improve consistency, uh, fits the truck perfectly right in there. A really good attachment that uh, I had some help from one of my teammates building. We had to, it's been modified a lot. If you can see the original one, it looks not, it doesn't look anything really like this. But uh, then this piece right here, and I got the ambulance. Pretty uh, nice piece right here. Pretty simple. But uh, the cool thing about these attachments is if you've ever participated in FLL before, you know the biggest time consumer is transitions. And the uh, key of these things are, well, the transitions, I mean, they're pretty easy. Because as you all know, when you try to snap pieces in with those uh, black pegs or any kind of peg really that really snap in, you're going to have a hard time trying to unsnap them and all that stuff. And they get stuck in there and you got to pull them out and you're wasting time. But the uh, cool thing with these, and uh, I suggest you guys do this if you aren't already doing it, but... Uh, we replaced those black pegs with these half half axle, half peg blue things that you've all seen before, right there. Uh, those things are pretty easy because you just put them in. They're still sturdy, right there, and it, they're just easy to take on and off. No time waste in transition, and I have that on both of them. And so, um, yeah, it's so now for the program. So uh, first, you know, as you saw, we drove forward, and we made a nice turn right here. It wasn't a perfect turn, but once it lines up, it gets all nice. That truck fit perfectly in there, and then it went here and uh, turned perfectly right here, and the ambulance went in there. And then we make a curve that way right here, going in this direction. And then we uh, turn back, and it fits in there perfectly, as you can see. Uh, the, of course, as you saw in my last video, the string is broken, but I, as I've had this mission done for a while, uh, I've tested it with the string, and it works pretty good. I mean, it doesn't seem to get caught. But once I get the string replaced, I'll probably show you it with the string just to make sure, show you guys that it works. Then you saw I made a turn right here, and I believe it hit it like that, I think. As you can see, and it hit it from the side right here, leaving this one in perfect tack and uh, destroying that one pretty much. As you can see, I mean, we've been doing it a lot. We've lost some pieces on here. You know, what is it? Right here. I mean, we've been losing a whole bunch of pieces from them. And then, as you saw, we made a, I believe it was a turn this way. And then we curved, went for about six rotations and curved in the direction towards base. And that's pretty much that mission right there. So yeah, I got the truck, ambulance, the, I forget what the name of the tan building is. Uh, but um, yeah, and also the stuff in the four supplies here, or well, three in water in here would be counted as in the yellow, I believe. Uh, that one, everything is right there. That, that would pretty much count in the yellow, so that's an extra point. So don't forget about that if you're trying to score score when you have put the truck in there. So, uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos to come soon. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, anything really, just comment down below. So uh, make sure to subscribe, and uh, see you next time.